need to adopt a regional approach in addressing trafficking in persons cannot be overemphasized. This ECOWAS regional conference therefore seeks a regional initiative for eradicating human Sierra Leone's Minister of Social Welfare, Bindu Dasama Kamara, emphasizing the need for collaboration in the fight against human trafficking at the opening of the regional conference. According to the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime 2022 Global Report on Trafficking in Persons, children continue to account for the majority of the detected trafficking victims, with an increase of child victim per 100,000 population by 43 percent between 2019 and 2020. Opening the two days regional conference, President Bill described the conference as crucial and timely noting the engagement highlights the importance of consistence and collaborative efforts to the evolving nature of human trafficking. As leaders in the sub-region, our priorities are crystal clear. We must focus more on prevention through increased education and awareness raising at the community level. We need to enhance support to survivors by providing them with services in a dignified manner when they are identified. We must toughen our law enforcement and judicial response to ensure that more perpetrators of human trafficking are persecuted, making it risky and expensive enterprise for these criminals is essential. This conference offers a new opportunity to enhance regional cooperation and collaboration on information sharing Underscoring the challenge of human trafficking, President of ECOWAS, Dr. Omar Ali Toure, described human trafficking as insecurity challenge facing the West African region that is facilitated by organized crime, hence calling it a moral and humanitarian concern that requires collaborative efforts. One of the key challenges facing West Africa today is insecurity. Human trafficking, the subject of this conference, is one facet of the insecurity that the region faces. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me at this juncture to place on record our admiration for the unyielding commitment of the government of Sierra Leone to the eradication of trafficking in person. Good laws and policies alone cannot sufficiently address the challenge. Strong coordination among relevant actors and effective implementation of those laws and policies must be undertaken. It is for this reason that ECOWAS attaches considerable importance to gatherings like this. As part of strides to tackling human trafficking in the country, Sierra Leone has in 2022 enacted the Anti-Human Trafficking and Migrant Smuggling Act and also developed a national referral mechanism for the protection of victims of trafficking in Sierra Leone. The two days regional conference being hosted at the Frita International Conference Center in Abadin is expected to produce implementation program that will serve as a roadmap for the region. Ronald Jomorovia, AYV News, Freetown.